Hey guys, it's Ozzy in Montclair, New Jersey at Vertigreen and I'm working on this sideboard and we did a whitewash with pure white chalk paint by Annie Sloan and now it's time to add the wax and we've decided to do something a little bit more fun with this piece. So what we did is we mixed the um, chalk paint wax in black and the chalk paint wax in white to create a gray color. So I've loaded my Annie Sloan wax brush with a really cool gray wax. And what I'm gonna do is, I'll bring this closer. This is my drawer of my sideboard and it's nice and dry. And I'm just going to apply my new gray wax all over it really heavily because what I'm doing is I'm doing a technique called wet waxing. With wet waxing, you apply a wax coating and then you paint over it and wipe both off simultaneously. Now typically when I wet wax, I will wipe some of the excess off and then paint it, but because I want this to be kind of a heavier application, I'm keeping this heavy wax on. And then I'm using pure white chalk paint that I have uh, watered down so it's a little bit loose and drippy. And I'm using Annie's small synthetic paintbrush to paint my pure white kind of haphazardly right over this heavy application of gray wax. You can see it doesn't need to be perfect. And then I am immediately going to wipe off my excess paint and wax with a little bit of cheesecloth. You can do this with a paper towel also, but I just find that this grabs onto the excess wax a little nicer. So I like going with the grain, so I'm gonna go around the drawer sides like so, and then I'm gonna get a fresh place of my cheesecloth. What you wanna do is wipe it until it feels like most of the wax has been removed because you don't want it to feel tacky. And what you get with this is a really cool look. This is um, a piece that we whitewashed because we really wanted some of the wood grain to show through, but I'm not a huge fan. Oops. I'm not a huge fan of how orange it was. So now that we've wet waxed, um, it has more of a, let me see if you can see that. It's more of a cool tone because we used the gray wax and it's resting heavier in all the grooves and the little uh, distressing marks on the drawer front here. So when we're done, it's going to have a little bit more character than it did. Um, but it will be updated. So these two drawers were already wet waxed in that way. I'm gonna bring it closer so you can see the difference. So these two cabinet doors down here are only whitewashed, but now the three drawers all have the gray wet wax on them. Let me see if you can see it better this way. There we go. It's a much better picture. Anyway, it's a really pretty look. It's nice and dry now. I can put my hardware back in and uh, it's gonna be a really cool piece when I'm done. I will share a photo on my Instagram at Vertigreen Home. Thanks for watching. I hope this was 